The general relativity priority dispute stands as a historic and intricate chapter in the annals of physics, centering around the development of Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity. In the early 20th century, a scientific race unfolded between Einstein and the German mathematician David Hilbert to formulate a comprehensive theory describing gravity's fundamental principles. The subsequent priority dispute has been the subject of scholarly discussions, with some arguing that Einstein's conceptual insights should earn him the primary credit, while others acknowledge Hilbert's nearly simultaneous contributions. Let's us explore in detail. Albert Einstein's discovery of the gravitational field equations of general relativity was a significant milestone in the history of physics. Einstein had been working on gravitational theory since 1912, he developed and published much of the framework of general relativity, including the ideas that gravitational effects require a tensor theory, that these effects determine a non-Euclidean geometry. On November 25, 1915, Einstein submitted a paper presenting the final form of what are called the Einstein equations. David Hilbert, a master mathematician, derived the theory of general relativity using an elegant variational principle. He started working on an axiomatic system for a unified field theory, combining the ideas of electromagnetism with Einstein's general relativity. The dispute arose from the almost simultaneous derivation of the theory by both Einstein and Hilbert. Einstein felt himself to be the injured party in this short-lived priority dispute, he complained to a friend that Hilbert was trying to nostrify his theory to claim a share of the credit. The events of interest occurred in late 1915. Einstein and Hilbert corresponded extensively throughout the fall of 1915, culminating in lectures by both men in late November that were later published. Einstein gave four lectures on his theory on 4, 11, 18 and the 25th of November in Berlin. A close analysis of archival material reveals that Hilbert did not anticipate Einstein. The first set of proofs of Hilbert's paper shows that the theory he originally submitted is not generally covariant and does not include the explicit form of the field equations of general relativity. Thus, it is widely accepted that Einstein was the first to discover the gravitational field equations of general relativity. This dispute has added layers to the history of scientific discovery, illustrating the complexities of attributing credit in a field where ideas often emerge through a collaborative and dynamic intellectual environment.